batting ninth is the second baseman, number 24, Bradley Hallman. I'll give you the Cherryville lineup in just a little bit here as Ronald Ortiz steps in and is ready to go against the starting pitcher tonight for Cherry Post 100 right-hander Heath King. First pitch is foul off, and we're underway at 7.07 by that clock. Let's see, uh, about 7.08 on my cell yep. phone. So we're, uh, we're running a little behind the schedule here tonight on getting the game started. And next pitch, swung on and missed. He struck him out. Folks, we're here at Buck Fraley Field. The Terrible Post 100 playing the post, what was it? Poor, post 455. 455, Lincoln yeah. County Post 455. It's, if you're just joining us, you just we just started. Top of the first inning, one out. And it's Dylan Thompson, center fielder, right-handed batter, steps up. Lincoln County wearing red shirts, white pants. And Cherryville in white shirts and white pants. And a pitch swung on a miss by Thompson, strike one. Thompson, right-handed batter for post 455. One and two in the division, one and six. Overall, Cherryville undefeated in the young season. Two and oh, one and oh Foul division. Foul back. Yep. It's 0 oh and two on Thompson. On deck is Jacob Hoover. Out of Lincoln High School. And Thompson digs in. 0 oh 2. There's one out, nobody on. We're just underway in the first inning here. And the pitch inside, ball one. First ball thrown by Heath King, the right hander. One ball, two strike count. Here's the pitch. And that's a ball, two and two now. Milton, I noticed when we got the uh, scorecards in here a little while ago. Um, every person on the lineup was also a pitcher. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that was. I think I think what he did was he uh, just in case he, he uh, some <laughs> some score books allow uh, have a column like mine like this one here. You have your position slash inning, and I think the one is where they started in the first inning. If they come in and oh fifth, okay, you put a five okay. in that inning block. I think I was I must have misunderstood it. I was like, wow, every person on that team is a pitcher as well. It's amazing. <laughs> uh, here's a bouncer to short the throw to first. Did they get him? Just Got barely. 6-3 put out. It, it was a slow bouncer out there to shortstop Ryan Kraft. Kraft, who plays the position well, got to it and got the throw over. Ryan can play about any spot out there, as we've made mention several times in his career. He's a very versatile ball player from pitcher to catcher to anywhere on the infield. Except I've seen him play just about anywhere except first base, and I've seen him play in outfield a lot, too. Who we got up now? This batter is Jacob Hoover, big left-hander, swinging for Nixon Jim there. And big swing, yes, empty. sir. So we got two outs. Count is 0-1 to Mr. Hoover right now. Right-hander Heath King starting tonight for post 100. Two up, two down in the first in the pitch. Another might, big swing. Yeah, Hoover. big swing. He might have caught a piece of that one, caught by the catcher, Luke Kaiser. Kaiser is an outstanding catcher and hitter for this post 100 squad. And the pitch. The O2's fouled off going into the Legion Hut parking lot, and that is a Rocky Bennett special maybe there. Uh, it might have been. Might have been. 0-2. Oh, <laughs> Need insurance. Yeah, call, call, call Rocky, Rocky Bennett of an Erie Insurance up on Main Street. That might have been your car that just got hit. No, I'm I'm in the uh, First Baptist parking lot. Oh, yeah, I, me too. I, I like to walk. <laughs> maybe a listener. Maybe a listener might know somebody whose car that was hit. Yeah. O2 oh, still on Hoover. And the pitch flinched at it, didn't go, and it's inside. Ball one. Hoover, left-handed batter for Denver Post 455. The Scores. Cardinals. Score 0-0. Zero, zero. Count is one ball, two strikes, two outs. Nobody on. Yep, in the top of the first here in the pitch. Bouncer to first. That's going to get through for a base hit between first and second. Hoover, big turnaround first, and he's got a solid single. Starting things, or not starting things, but with two out here in the top of the first. He'll start things for Lincoln County with a hit. And that'll bring up Clay Dellinger, Dellinger first baseman. He's a right-handed batter. 
good breeze blowing out here. It's been a hot one today, but we have had a little it bit was, of a breeze. It, it's a, that was, it, I, I saw 92 today when I, I, did too. when I was going by the bank. It was, a, it was a bit stifling, but the wind did help it cool down just a little bit. Swing and a miss by Dellinger. You're absolutely right. Sun uh, basking the uh, field right now. A few clouds in the sky, but nothing threatening right now. I see, if somebody gets a hold of one today, the... Uh, yeah, the wind could blow it. Here it goes, uh, one to center, but with the sure-handed and fleet-footed Thomas Bess out there, he'll run that one down off the bat of Clay Dellinger for out number three. three. So no runs in the uh, inning on one hit, no errors, and one runner left. And we've played a half inning. It's Lincoln County Zero. Charitable coming to bat on a Mr. Sparky Hauser Drug scoreboard, and this is B-squared Construction Post 100 Baseball. What are you looking forward to most in life? In the book of Acts, in the first chapter, verse 9, says these words, After saying this, he was taken up into a cloud while they were watching, and they could no longer see him. Two white-robed men suddenly stood among them. Men of Galilee, they said, why are you standing here staring into heaven? Jesus has been taken from you into heaven, but someday he will return from heaven in the same way you saw him go. Something to look forward to is the return of Jesus. This is Vince Hefner, pastor of the First Baptist Church of Cherryville, saying, don't give in to sin. Think about it. Buy one, get a second and half price at the Home Place Restaurant, Highway 27 west of Lincoln. Ask about their buy one, get one half price specials. On Mondays, it's a poor boy basket. Tuesdays, a cheeseburger basket. Wednesdays, a barbecue basket. Thursdays, a chicken filet basket. And on Fridays, it's a big old fish basket. Buy one, get one half price at the Home Place Restaurant, Highway 27, two miles west of Lincoln. And be sure to use their convenient drive through window. Hauser Drugstore on the corner in downtown Cherryville has been Cherryville's hometown pharmacy since 1935, and they know you by name. For durable medical equipment such as wheelchairs, oxygen, walkers, CPAPs and BiPAPs, lift chairs, and diabetic supplies too, like strips and lancets, Hauser Drug builds Medicare and most all private insurances. And does your pharmacy make home deliveries? Hauser Drug in Cherryville does. It's service after the sale. Hauser Drug says good luck, Iron Man. Get your prescriptions to go from Medical Center Pharmacy in Cherryville. Yes, delivery is now available. Look for the Medical Center delivery van in your area. Just call 704-435-3263 for your prescriptions to go. You can even order online at mcpcherryville.com. Check out that new and improved website. And the grill is now under new management. Come on in for your favorite sandwiches. That's at the Medical Center Pharmacy, East Academy Street in Cherryville. On the go for you. Uh, welcome back to Freckley Field as we go to the bottom of the first. Thomas Bass, the batter up. First pitch, ball one. Thomas was our MVP of the game in our broadcast Tuesday night from Burke County. He was three for three with a walk and hit by a pitch last night. He went one for three with a walk, having a good start to the season. He bunts uh, here and pops it up. First base side, and, and the first it. baseman made a fantastic play there. That really was a good play by uh, Mr. Dellinger there. Mm-hmm. Clay Dallinger sliding catch in foul territory of the popped up bunt. Yeah, it wasn't a very good bunt attempt, but you know, uh, it's just, you know, sometimes you, you don't get to the bat on the ball like you want to. No, nope, sometimes not. Uh, against a right hander here for Lincoln County, it's Jake Cochran, and batter up is left handed hitter, and he goes to left field. This is Chandler Jenkins, fly ball to left, however, carried a little bit out there. I thought that one was not going to travel as far as it did, uh, Josh, and it took that left fielder back a little bit, Jacob Hoover, but he made the catch. Well, I told you, you know, the, the, the wind is yeah, going, is. you know, north by northeast, and, you know, if, if the people get a hold of a ball tonight, that, that wind might be the little extra that they need to get it over the fence or to the fence. Here's Brad Huff with two out in the bottom of the first, no score in the ball game, and the first pitch a ball from um, Ch uh, Cochran to Huff. Brett Huff, right-handed hitting second baseman for Cherryville. This is a ball. Two balls, no strikes on Huff. Folks, if you're turned in and we're at Buck Fairley Field, it's the bottom of the first inning. Um, score 0-0. Zero, zero. Cherryville up to bat right now and two outs. Reminder, Nobody you, on. you can view this game, yes. the audio and video on whatsupshopper.com. Pitch outside edge for a strike. Two and one to Huff. Also on 1590 WCSL. 
like to say hello to my wife who uh, actually just tuned in. I guess you want to make sure I was still at work. <laughs> there you go. Just just to be sure there. Three and one on Huff. Yeah, you can't hide from many people when you're on the radio. <laughs> nope. We go on the radio. On tomorrow the night's day. game is uh, uh, tomorrow night's game is video and radio and radio. What we got here? A fly ball to center field. I was yep, and we uh, out there. Yeah, fly ball to Mr. Thompson. He reeled it in for the.